Hello, hello, and sorry for the mess, but I'm being renovated again, and uh, I really can't be filming normally, but I wanted to talk about this Renkforce RF100 V2 unit here, because it's currently on sale at a very good price, 149 euros if you catch it at the right point, and I have to admit, I really enjoy using the thing and I just bought a second one and so I wanted to do a quick unboxing for all of you so that you know what you get. What you see here is the original outside shipping carton. So if you are nice to the branch, in many cases they will give you the printer in this box and this is good for you because in this case you simply glue a shipping label to it Take it to the post office and you see here 14.3 kilograms and the thing is shipped. And so inside of it you find a second box which contains the actual printer. You see here Renkforce RF100 V2. So because I was a wee bit lazy I decided to take away this manual which you get here you see Netherlands, German, uh, English and uh, another English document and then we get this thing which contains the actual printer and this is what we're gonna tear into now We see here, this is something I like very much, we have these two pieces of styrofoam which go around the printer and we need to get the printer out of them first. And well, basically you see here, you should be careful because this is rubbery, so you want to be a little bit careful, you want to be you know, I always say you should not be shy. And attention, inside here we find the box labeled filament sample. You see it here? We have to take that out and we look at it later. For now we have to get the printer out. Be careful again because down here there are the axles and you don't want to touch them. So here we go. And this part there is nothing inside and then we already basically have him here as you see and you just you tear out carefully one by one the pieces of the styrofoam so for the next step we need a knife and this kind of side cutter and uh, let's just start wiggling around you see this printer is packed very very well so you want to be careful not to harm it in any way so this part goes out now we have a second box with accessories which we slide out we will look at it later and basically it's now just a job this goes next we find inside of here attention various components we look at this later as well and then we have here one more piece of styrofoam which we throw away and here the two cable ties which block the printer car and we cut them open as well ideally carefully not to hurt the white as a black material here at the top so you see we cut this and we cut this and now we have the printer basically ready to go and it's time to look at the special accessories. So, and now it's time to tear apart the accessories. First is this one here, where you should be careful because it is easy to throw away. You get this bag with the accessories and you get this thing. This is one of the secrets of the printer and you should be very careful not to touch the top why this is important and what it means I will be talking about later or in another video for now I only say this is the print plate and you must not touch the top and as you hear here at the bottom there are three magnets which you can use to fit the print plate into the printer so and now it's time to tear into the accessory bag 
spatula of decent quality, pliers just like the one we used for tearing it apart, and a USB cable, a filament guide, a memory card, and a few hex screws which we will use to attach the filament to the back. Here we have the accessory box number one. which contains the cable, a large charge of filament, I think it is 250 grams, and this trinket, which attaches to the back of the printer. And finally, the box from before, I'm gonna tear it apart. And we see a gaggle of different filaments, some orange-like thingy, chrome-like thingy, red, wood look like transparent, all a few gram, I think 50 gram or so, just to get started with the printer quickly. And now it's time for the final step, mounting this thing here at the back, because then the spool will go through here and into the extruder. And for this, we simply take the two screws from the back. We see here, we take this and then we just screw it in by hand or with the machine. My hands are trembling already because it's a bit late and you know I have my health problem. But I'm gonna try. Please, no stupid comments. So we have the number one, now we have number two. And then you give it a good tightening. And then basically bobs our uncle and we're ready to go. So to cut a long story short, this printer definitely will not be winning you any innovation prizes. But at least for me, it has been printing reliably again, again, and again. And it's so cheap that even if you include the 30 or 40 euros for shipping with a provider like TipTrans or something, the printer still makes sense. As said, this is my second one. I use it all the time. I like it very much. Sorry again for the chaos, but behind you there, the water's flowing down a support pillar. So thank you very much for watching and follow me on Instagram or on YouTube if you enjoy the content. Thank you very much.